Lemmy's World of Glasgow Xander One of my pals, one of my gay pals, phoned us and told me there was a toilet needing liberating. You know what that means? Is that the Janny in a certain public toilet is giving the gay folk grief for meeting up there, chucking them out, giving them trouble. And I've made it my job to get these Jannies half hour back by liberating the toilets. I said, which one is it? He said, it's the one in Buchanan Street, it's the one next to the orange shop. I says, I know what one you're talking about, I'm heading there right now. On my way up to the toilet, I nipped into a newsagent and bought a men only. Some bird, some dolly bird on the front of a big pair of tits. That was the one I was after. I bought that, I headed up to the toilet, I went into one of the cubicles and I started putting my plan into motion. Between all the cubicles in that toilet, there's a hole. That's so all the gays can have a wee look at each other or have what's known as a glory hole. A gobble through a hole in a bar, which is a major part of my plan. Now what I do is, I leave the magazine in there, on top of the cistern. I go out that cubicle and into the cubicle next to it. I sit down and I wait. I waited, I could hear the Janny come out his wee room, wiping things, mopping the flare and that. I thought, here he comes. He gets to the cubicle next to my one, the one with the porno in it. I just wait, I hear nothing, and I think, is he going to take the bait? Is he going to pick the magazine up and just stick it in the bin? Or is he going to take the bait? I hear the wee ruffle with the pages, and then I hear the cubicle doors shut. I thought, Gotcha. Now what I forgot to point out was the hole between the two cubicles. I've blocked him up with bog roll so that he doesn't look at a hole and think, right, is there going to be somebody next door looking at me? I get a wee minute or two. I hear him flicking through the pages, getting his cell all excited. I get another minute and I start to hear the sounds of him wanking. I can just hear the tapping away a zip somewhere, banging against something. Just going t- 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 It's when I started hearing them heavy breathing. That's when it was time for me to put the next part of the plan in action. And it throws a passion. I, I'm telling you right now, a guy is up for anything. So once you hear that heavy breathing, you know that he's in the throws of passion. So what i done when I heard that, once I heard the heavy breathing, I unblocked the hole of the bog roll and I presented my arsehole to it. My bald lubed arse. I could hear just a wee pause in the shuffling as he took in what he was seeing and I just said, do it. There was another wee pause, I thought, fuck, is he going to come out that cubicle, dive into mine and not fuck out me? But I waited and then I felt it. A cock squeezing through the hole between the cubicles and into my arsehole. And it slid out, and then it slid in, and out, and in, and out, and in, and I could hear him scraping up against the cubicle wall. Because it's difficult because you've got nothing to bend there, you've got nothing to grab onto, it's just you banging your cock into a hole in the wall. It is dead difficult to balance, but he was managing it alright. And it's difficult for me as well, because I have to put my foot up in the wall, the wall that I'm facing, just to let him in me a wee bit deeper. He started really, really picking it up, really gone a lot quicker and I thought, right, time for the next part. I pulled out my camera phone and I waited. I heard him going, ah, oh, and I felt him shoot up me. I pulled my ass away as quick as I could. I span around, I got the phone out and I looked at his cock and I just pointed the camera at it and I started taking photos. I had it on the multi photo setting. You know the one that takes four pictures on the one go, it just goes, chikis, 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 chikis. The second I'd done that, the guy tried to pull his cock through as fast as he could through this rough wee hole. He gave it a quick tug and he got it halfway through but then it just stopped and I just heard him squeal. He tried it again though and he managed to get his cock free but that's when I put the camera out the cubicle, out the top of the cubicle and I took another set of 40s. I heard him bumbling about everywhere, banging into things, going, oh for fuck's sake, who's that? Oh, I said... That's me got plenty of 40s of you now, pal. 
If you give us any more grief in here, they're getting sent to your boss, they're getting sent to your wife, they're getting sent everywhere, and I'll be writing the phone number every toilet in Glasgow saying, text me if you want to see a naked picture of Janie in the toilet opposite the orange shop. You better believe it. I skipped out of there, phoned my mate, I says, that's it done. He says, Zanzer, you're a gem. I said, pleasure.